<laughs> I just gave you flowers and find out I'm the second option. <laughs> We have a brand new podcast and we had Sultan on as a guest. Stay to the end for more info. Hey, David. Hey, Crystal. We have a friend. Oh. Who's this? Oh, it's Sultan. It's Sultan. Hey, it's Sultan. I'm the friend. That's me. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh. we good now? Can I, you can can I get just, off the... Yeah, you can get off the chair. He won't eat you, I promise. We're going to play a fun little game called Are You Ready for a Relationship? No. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today, guys. We'll see <laughs> you <next week. laughs> Whether you are already in a relationship or you're not in a relationship yet, doesn't necessarily mean that you're ready to be in a relationship. I'm keen. I'm keen. I'm ready to open my insides. For Alvin the chipmunk. Mm, now you're walking through the woods. I don't trust Calling Alvin. Dave's calling Crystal. And you come across a big animal in the forest. One, how big is the animal? And two, what is the animal? It's huge. I can't see the sun. And it's a honey badger. It's well, a... is it as big as the elephant next to it? Because that's what I saw. A normally sized elephant? Or like a fucking freak of nature like David's honey badger? I don't think my elephant's as big as the honey. Very interesting. Very interesting. What'd you write? Let me see. Judgments. David, you see a giant honey badger and Sultan, you're seeing a an elephant. So what the fuck are you doing? There's uh, only one real answer, right? We got to ride that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of this. This is amazing. <laughs> well, David, before you've decided to ride your steed, what was your knee jerk reaction? Run. Why are you writing it down? <laughs> no. Another exactly. animal Wind is now in your way. What is the second animal? It's a hippo. A lion? Can we can we ride both of them? I'm not riding the lion. I don't know. I don't oh. trust this. What do you, lion. Okay, well, no, I mean, no, no, it's no, not no. a part of the question. I don't. Okay, thank God. So like, because I don't trust this bitch. As you walk, you find two patches of flowers. One is full of white flowers, and one is full mm. of red flowers. You're going to pick twenty flowers to bring to the person that you're looking for. What color combination of the two flowers do you choose? But I would make like the outside like the red. And then the inside would be filled with like the white flowers. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mine's half. You're gonna bring them to Alvin. Alvin's gonna love them. David, and I'm still not sure how you're looking for me better. while I'm here, but it's fine. You know what? I've duplicated myself and now the other me is lost. Which one's the original? That was always a question. Oh, I knew you would say that. You come across. An out of place building. It's oh, this is strange. unusual. What are we doing with this strange facility? David, building. can we go in the building? It might have taken Alvin. Crystal might be in there. Oh, oh right. Alvin. I forgot we were doing that. No, I just, <laughs> they might have pizza. I don't it's know. Like I'm I just forgot. thinking about pizza. <laughs> okay, so like, how are we going in? Through the front door? No, that's what they'd be expecting, David. Well, I think first we need to tie our steeds to the mm. nearest tree. Mm. You guys are going to be well behaved, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be well behaved. <laughs> Just take out a knife. <laughs> I still don't trust the lion that's like following us. David, you've decided to knock, I suppose. Sultan, are you also knocking on the door? No, I'm budging in. I'm telling everyone to kneel down like the peasants they are. This, where did this building come from? This where is, is my sketchy. chipmunk? This place knows something. They usher towards a very well-dressed alien with a clipboard. I have no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> Please relax. Yeah, you didn't tell me who to run. Hold on. Yeah, uh -huh. you tell him. He's been here for quite some time there in the green room. So, okay, then what are we doing? Are we like following this alien or are we doing what we want to do? Wait, is he being nice about it? I mean, he's being pretty nice. I will follow him then. <laughs> if you told me to relax one more time, Mr. Alien. That's right. David I have a hippo. Yeah, knows karate probably. Humans are very interesting. <laughs> well, I kind of want to stab him just to see what comes out. <laughs> do they bleed? Like, I mean, we won't because... This is obviously a psychology test. Hmm, he thought about <laughs> stabbing him. Let's follow the alien. Okay. All right, okay, we're yeah? following the alien. Okay. okay. Strange alien has ushered you into a, the green room and you see a very comfy looking lounge area with a humorous attempt at quote unquote human decor. <laughs> you see Idiot. your person on the couch. Are they awake or are they asleep on the couch? You were awake. Okay. The Sultan, was Alvin awake or was he asleep? Alvin's sleeping on Crystal's lap. Oh my yeah. God, it was an alien abduction the whole time. Is that the test? Did I win? Oh wait, this was about love, never mind. I'm making judgment notes. <laughs> Stop! Was... There you are! It's me! Real is it? It's Crystal? Who knows? Now I'm one person again. Or am I? What? Alvin is singing a little ditty on the couch. That's good. Get it. <laughs> Get oh, it. That's the hit. <laughs> the Alvin hit. Actually, you know what, Sultan? I think it was about the friends we made along the way. Uh, you mean the hippo and the lion? Yeah. I still don't trust that lion. <laughs> Did you give him a bigger knife, Crystal? Should have used it on the alien so we can see what he bleeds. Yes. To the left of the room, you see a table and a jug. What is the jug made out of? Glass? Yeah, that was glass, right? How much water is in the jug? Three-fourths of the way full. That's what I was gonna say. You're escorted into the hallway, then you're separated from your person. They're taking our people, oh, nice. Sultan. That's fine, you're here. 
<laughs> worker talking to you tells you that when you enter the room, you're going to sit down and you're going to write down what you dislike about your person. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> And when you go into the room, you see your person and they're writing. So you both start writing. And you only write like a few things, if anything at all. But as you're finished, you notice that your person is writing vigorously. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, okay, so what do you do? I see that they're writing more and I just go, okay, well, we'll see what they say. Oh, okay. I feel good because now I'm the good guy. <laughs> Whoa, you wrote this whole list? Look what I did, bitch. <laughs> Who's the shit one in the relationship? Am I in the relationship with Alvin? I, whoa. I think... <laughs> We're just, we're good roommates. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that doesn't sit well in history books. I mean, I'm hurt and I won't say anything, but if we fight in a month, I'll probably bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> I twirl my fake mustache. Very interesting. Where did you pull that from? Hang on, why does the mustache feel like chipmunk hair? <laughs> oh my god. Don't look at that. Look at this. Anyway. <laughs> You're both finished and you're told you that you're allowed to leave. And as you leave, you see a puzzle on the table nearby. What does the puzzle look like? Mostly complete. That's what and I was it's missing say. a piece or two. It's just waiting for me to complete it. Ooh, it's like a thousand piece puzzle and there's like 200 to 300 pieces. But a few of them are like upside down and the gray is showing. These aliens are so embarrassing. You know what, Sultan? Get the knife ready. <laughs> just get the fucking knife ready. <laughs> the okay? puzzle was the last shit. straw, David. I'll do it! <laughs> we stab the alien and the suit comes off. It's just the second crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the end of my game. Yeah. I feel like we won. I have judged you sufficiently. Now it's time for the answers. Okay, so the person that you're looking for is supposed to be the most important person to you. Alvin represents some familiarity, childhood, nostalgia person, I guess. Yes, that's right. It could be like a nostalgic friend kind of or maybe you're just a furry Ooh. i'm sorry Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> first animal that you find is how you see yourself and your problems <laughs> the bigger um, the animal the bigger the problems so like elephants are big but they're really chill so like you're like wow those are a lot of problems but like it's okay honey badgers though are ferocious honey badgers actually are super ferocious so david's like i have so many problems so. that checks out <laughs> and the next thing is how you interact with the animal is how you approach your problems i wanted to skirt around it and like just kind of go interestingly enough sultan you decided to ride your elephant yeah and i guess that means that i sit on my problems you're just kind of like i guess this is my life now yeah all right so the second animal that passes you by is how you see your person hippo <laughs> apparently thanks david <laughs> hippos are nice no they're not no, they're not. They're not, no. I'm trying to work this in my favor. <laughs> <laughs> and Sultan Yus was a lion. With a knife. Which you don't trust. You do not trust this lion. <laughs> that I don't trust, which is actually, uh, um, you know what? <laughs> Flowers represent how much that you give and then expect back in a relationship. So the amount of white is what you expect to receive, and the amount of red is what you expect to give. So David's was half and half. Uh, somebody who's been in a relationship with you for almost 13 years, yeah, that's I would right. say that's about right. Yeah. <laughs> Sultan, you had, I would. I just said some red with mostly white. But to me, because it was like styled, right? It feels like conditional. Does that make sense? Mm. You took the time to make it styled like that. That really speaks to your like character that looked really pretty oh thanks david can yeah. i give the flowers to david instead i don't yes. want to give them to uh here you go david thank you this is the second guest that you've wooed i don't know if you know that i just gave you flowers and find out i'm the <laughs> second option i'm taking these flowers back crystal take this how you approach the building that you run across is how your mentality towards starting relationships is. Bypassing the building and being like, fuck that building means that you're not gonna seek out relationships. Knocking means that you're level-headed and sensible. And crashing in means that you're a little desperate. Damn, Crystal. So, David, you <laughs> Let me recover after that drag. <laughs> I'm still healing. You barged in and told everybody to bow down like peasants. <laughs> well, does that mean that I'm desperate? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. just yeah. clarifying for those at home. I barged with you, so. I mean, you, you knocked first, but then you barged. What you choose to do when you enter the building shows how you approach problems in said relationship. Walk in and the alien's like, hi, uh, they're in the green room. And you either listen <laughs> to him or you like, fuck you. And then like, you pass them and get through the green room. Hang on, no, no, we didn't stab him because we knew this was coming. 
So that's right. Uh, mm, mm -hmm. If you ask them to go get your person like and bring them to you, that means you prefer to not address problems at all and or have other people fix things for you. And if you are like, well, I guess just take me to it, you're gonna have the other person want to initiate and solve the problems. And then the entering and going in yourself is a more direct approach to problem. Do you actually like played yourself on this one, guys? You should have just <laughs> stabbed him. <laughs> you should have just stabbed him. Fuck. When you go into the room and you see your person, so if they're awake, you expect them to change in some way, or if they're asleep, you accept them as they are. I expect there to be compromise on both ends. <clears throat> you do expect change, but you are also willing to provide something. Right, but I'm also willing to provide change. Love them, don't love who they could be, but I also do agree sure. that people grow <laughs> together. I think, I guess it would be the time frame of it, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next part of it was what the jug is made out of shows the state of your heart and how much water is in the jug shows how much full of love it is. How you react to the paper test is how you show your personal level of trust and personal insecurity. So the other person was actually told to list as many sea creatures as they could. What? They were writing. What a so plot much. twist. There's still plot twists happening. Whoa. If you stopped and waited with curiosity or no malice, you're very secure in yourself and with your person. If you stopped writing and but felt very upset or betrayed, like we're gonna bring it up later, <laughs> you may have a slight issue with insecurity. <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> The last option, if you get angry and then like vengefully like write more, like, well, they're writing more, so I'm just gonna make stuff up, like, fuck that person. Lack both trust and are highly insecure and have destructive relationships. So neither of you have that one. Those at home, if that's you, um... Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the last question was the puzzle. So the way the puzzle looks represents how you feel about yourself. If it was not started at all, you might feel kind of lost in life or that you have a lot of things to work on. And then the, there's incomplete. And the levels of incompleteness is what we have to work with here. Um, mm -hmm. David, you said that there was only like two pieces missing, but it was basically put together. Right. That is eerily accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sultan, <laughs> yours was started, but it was missing like 300 pieces and some of them are flipped upside down. It's also like, this is a lot. That's it is fire. a lot, Crystal. It is. <laughs> take a seat with me. It is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last thing for those at home if it was complete you feel whole and self-assured see that's a you. red flag <laughs> that's that's a red red if your flag. puzzle was done that's the real red flag in all of these <laughs> scenarios the final judgment is david um you're fine yes <laughs> Sultan, i would say make sure you are self-aware yeah but i'm not the one holding the knife <laughs> It's That's true. Lion. You know what? I forgot about the lion. Don't fuck with relationships, bro. <laughs> you know what, Crystal? I think you're right. And then they all lived happily ever after. Yeah, ever after. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a comment down below with what your results were and go check out the video we did over on Sultan's channel. We also have a brand new podcast called On the Chair with Crystal and David where we talked with Sultan about his past relationships, our past relationships. Go listen to it on YouTube or anywhere where you listen to podcasts and get the tea.